Hello and welcome to my channel. This is C Sharp where we learn about writing code in um, C Sharp Windows Forms application. And uh, um, the code that we write is compatible in Visual Studio 2008, 2010, 2012, and 13. So if you have any of those installed in your computer, your laptop, you're, you're able to use it and write the code that we write. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the data grid and basically how to function it. Alright? So let's all go to file, new, project, and we're going to click on Visual C Sharp, then Windows Forms application, and we're going to change the name to DG. We'll just use the initials for data grid. Right? And once that loads, we're going to have to take a data grid. So we'll go to the toolbox and get data grid view. And let's post that on our window. Right? Since we're going to use um, three columns, we just resize that and let's click on this button. Once we, click, once we click on the button, we want to add column and have like make sure that each of these are ticked except for the last one. Right? And we're going to add a column and we're going to call that that the header text will be um, we'll have this reg, registration number. Then we're going to have another column, we're going to have that link. and we're going to have another one. And we're going to have that as fruits. Alright, and let's change the type of this column to combo box. You're given an, an option of a button, a checkbox, an image column, a link column, a text box, which is the default. So but we're going to use a combo box for the fruits. Alright, and let's add that and then close. And now we, we have these three columns created for us. And once we run that, program without writing any code, you see that we are, we are able to enter information into the text box, but the columns do not have any values, you see. And now let's um, enter values into the column, right? This is column 3. Remember we named it the fruits column, column 3. So let's go to the code behind, where we, we could just go to the, the Solution Explorer, right click on Form 1, and just view code. And that takes you here. And let's write um, a new function. So we'll public void and we'll combo. Because we want to put info, information into the combo box, right? So the name of the combo box, remember, is combo 3. I mean, column 3, sorry. Column 3. So we're going to say column3.items because we want to add items to it and we need um, to add a range because we have more than one um, item that we want to add and we need a new object. So call new object and have the uh, brackets there. Then we're going to have another pair of curly braces with speech marks and we're going to um, write bananas. This, this the information in the speech marks is going to be the items in our column or oh, sorry in our combo box right let's have apples and let's have um, grapes right. let's use those for now number two end your statement and um, we want to use this function once the program is run Remember in the other videos I, I told you about the information between these two curly braces is executed on debugging. So once you debug, as we're going to do now, the program works out that code for you. So if we try and go to fruits and we click on fruits, we have the, the information that we, we selected. And every um, row of that column is going to have the option of choosing. So that, that comes in handy, all right. And let's go ahead and let's um change the text for each. Not text. Yeah, let's change the text and, and the color for each row, for each alternating row, all right. So we can do that um by clicking on your data grid and then going to the appearance. And um the name of it is alternating rows default cell style. So we can go there and click on that, and we can change the back color. So we can have the back color as 
let's have it as um, chocolate all right and the font we'll change the font to maybe numbers let's have 12 let's bold it and let's use i like using this one all right and that's okay okay so once we run it we should be able to see that each alternating column has a different kind of text all right so like in let's have the number as one this one as two you see each alternating one has a different um color and a different font that comes in handy if you want to differentiate like you want to be able to tell easily what um information there is in whatever column right and now we want to change in a specific cell we want to change the color in, in a specific cell so let's change the color in the in the first cell for registration number so in this cell we, we want to change the color to white i mean not white because right now it's white so we'll change it to yellow right and this cell is um cell zero and the row is also zero because in the data grid you start from zero counting from zero so rows are like this and columns are like that right so vertical is a column and horizontal is a row so the first row is known as row zero and the first column is known as row is as column zero or cell zero right that's just um information you need to know before we write the code all right so let's have another another function and we'll call this function individual right? individual because we, we want to change the color of an individual cell right and let's have the let's call the data grid the name of the data grid which is data grid one and we're going to say rows and remember i told you it's in the first cell is zero right and the i mean the first row is zero and the first cell is also zero so let's type that and we want um the back color right sorry the color it's not working now um style yeah style the back color color that yellow right and um we want this code to run on execution or on debugging so we're gonna put it between these ones and uh, this basically says that in this row of this cell we want the, the color to be yellow and uh, before I, I run that you can see that you you're given an opportunity with a big big variety of of colors so we have lime and everything like that but for the sake of this one i'm going to use yellow and once we lo load the code we should have the color yellow where we have it right now so the code is working and so in this particular row in this particular cell you can change the color right and um let's go ahead and have the option of once we we load the program we want the mouse to change how it looks once we go over the data grid right and that can be done by going to clicking on the data grid and then going to the cursor so we have the cursor under appearance and it's set to default and we can change it have we given a variety of different cursors so we want to use the hand all right so let's click on the hand and once we load the code we should see that once we go over the data grid it changes all right so that's pretty cool i think to me it is pretty cool and then we can also um, go ahead and change the color of the column head all right um like the cell border style so like right now it's single so we can have it as sunken but then like you can't really tell because like 
if you look at it like look at the data view right now and once i change it you can barely tell like now i have a no um cell borders so if i load the code you can like really differentiate like where where the column is uh, so basically going through the properties you can find a variety of things um to change like for you to customize your your data field and once you click on this button you, you're able to add columns or even edit columns that we have so like now we can edit um the name of the reg number and you can also change the tool tip the tool tip text is, is this so like once you you load it and we go over um this with our mouse we should be given like um like it should state what that column is like what it what it contains all right so let's give an example so let's click on that let's edit the column and registration number we're going to change the tool tip let's have it as right i'm going to click on ok and once we load it we should see once we go over the registration number you get a, a tooltip with the name that we entered in the text being c sharp right and you can change that for whichever column you'd like to change so th there's a variety you're given a big number of things that you can customize you can make it read only where you cannot enter any more text into that particular column or row yeah so basically what we've learned in this video is how to use and customize and function a data grid um, to make new columns new rows what the first column or row is called and how it progresses and using the variety of um, types being combo box we have text we have the buttons and i hope you enjoyed that video um, please subscribe share the video thank you